And those of you commuting to and from Denver or like Teller County, you're going to want to pay more close attention in regards to your workday travel. So from 9 a.m. through lunchtime, we're still seeing a mixture of snow or rain in the mountains or up around the Denver area to Fort Collins. Locally, we're dry here. Now, once we get to lunchtime, we're going to be watching Monument Hill uh, or Northern Teller County for maybe a little early moisture, probably rain. But by 1 to 2, Monument is going to be getting that rain to snow switch over. It's because the elevation of Black Forest, Monument Hill, Palmer Lake is like around 7,000 feet, so it's easier to do that. Now, Colorado Springs by 3 o'clock, it should be raining, maybe snowing on the north end of town, but most of it will start as a rain here. And Castle Rock to Monument, we are trying to get a snow changeover by 3 o'clock. Now by 6 o'clock, Denver, Castle Rock, Teller County, Colorado Springs to Monument, all snow. And, by the way, heavy snow. So your drive from Denver to Springs is challenging between 3 to 6. After 6, it gets really, really rough. Around Pueblo by 6 o'clock, we're getting showers. We do change the snow in Pueblo or change rain to snow, if not by 10 or 11 o'clock after it. And I would say, you know, between 8 to 10 o'clock in Fremont County, we're definitely trying to change the snow over from rain just a little longer in Canyon City to get there. Tonight, it's going to freeze in the Pikes Peak region. Now, Pueblo is close to freezing. It's going to freeze down by Trinidad and in the plains we're a little bit above. Cover your plants. Cloth works better than plastic, but you know, it's not a super hard freeze tonight. This is what we're forecasting on the interstate. Now, from Fountain North in particular, three inches of this could melt. At our station, I wanted to try to forecast a little bit over and then account for the melting here because that in May is the biggest problem. We're showing you what could fall and what we think could accumulate, but we know with the warm ground, we know with the warm air, and with the weight of the snow compacting itself, like three inches could be gone off these totals. A great example is downtown. I'm saying six to 12 inches. Well, realistically, we may get snow measurements that are like three to nine inches because of the melting and compacting. That being said, I think this is still the way to go. I think we're looking at this as pretty healthy snow, especially on the north end of town and over to Teller County. For those of you in Pueblo, really hoping you can get like two inches of snow. It would be more likely to sit on the grass or your patio furniture, but you know, so much of that will melt. In the wet mountains, let's go San Isabel. So in your seven day forecast for Colorado Springs, the snow starts up. In the springs, I would say between four to six, and then after that, it's, going, it's just going through Saturday morning. We have some rain chances on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And so we went from this bone dry April to May, actually trying to help us out a little bit. Pueblo, I think that you don't really see moisture until like, I would say six o'clock, rain tries to come into town, and then your snow changeover is most likely after 11 o'clock, but maybe 10 to 11 at the earliest, and you got rain chances through the start of next week. Canyon City, your snow changeover tonight may be like between 8 to 10 o'clock, so just a touch earlier. And then I think you've got more rain chances through the weekend. Woodland Park, I mean, it's going to be snowing like almost instantly in Woodland Park this afternoon after 1 o'clock. And remember, you can get like close to 2 feet of snow in a couple areas through Saturday morning.